hello everyone and welcome to my channel i have actually been meaning to make a reaction video but i haven't been able to i actually did one last sunday but netflix flagged it down copyright infringement so i'm sorry about that so now i'm going to talk about everything young famous in africa actually young famous in africa okay now before that please if you're just watching for the first time or you're watching and you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly do that so now let's talk about young famous in africa it features 12 superstars from various countries in africa zari from uganda but based in south africa nakaya a south african diamond a tanzanian annie a nigerian nadia nakai is also a south african it also features uh people like okay this is zari the boss she's known as zari the boss lady she's very beautiful she's a uganda she has five kids three with her ex-husband two with diamond the musician from tanzania this is zari she's so pretty zari the boss lady the boss lady this is annie macaulay idibia wife of two-faced idibia this is annie and her husband he also appeared on the show annie this is nakaya this is kanye and her boyfriend kudzi she's actually she calls herself a cougar she's 35 and her boyfriend is 28 boyfriend is cute though she's an actress a producer she's south african now this is swanky jerry an international designer from nigeria we have swanky we have nadia nakai we have nadia nakai we have nadia we have diamond from tanzania he's a tanzanian singer quite popular an international singer this diamonds diamonds Ooh. diamonds diamonds and his son and his son this is Andeli. There's a presenter, a South African. Andeli. Andeli. And this is Naked DJ. He's a DJ and a radio personality. This is Andeli and his girlfriend, Kelly. Kelly is South African. She's an athlete. You will get to know about all these people as I proceed with the review. This is Kelly and her boyfriend. You can also their Instagram handle. I deliberately left left their Instagram handle. So in case you like to follow them, you can do so. So now, okay, let's start from episode one. Episode one starts with, you know, introduction. Of course, we have Kanye, we have Annie. We have Nadia, we have Diamonds, you know, I think Zara came in in episode 2. So generally, it's just about young people who are rich and famous, navigating life as celebrities, people in relationships, marriage and all that. So now, let me start with, um, who do I start with now? Annie. Annie. Annie stressed everybody during this show. I'm not going to lie. Annie stressed everybody. She stressed viewers. She stre I'm sure she stressed her husband. She also stressed her kids. Like, Annie was a whole lot. Like, going through... You know, like, a few months ago, Annie was going through... Like, she was basically having an emotional... A mental breakdown on social media. She accused her husband of having an affair with Pero. Going to see Pero, you know. Pero, meanwhile, Pero is Two Faces' baby mama. So, back to the gist. Throughout the show, eh, see, I tire for Annie. Innocence, this innocent. She was always all about two face. At the point, I was like, ah, this girl, this woman, like you know, girl life. I was like, she. I don't think she ever talked about family, siblings, fa like not. It was oh, innocent this, innocent that. It was just a little too much. Like I feel like sometimes you just need to know when to shut it up, or you know, like. She was mostly complaining. She talked about his infertility, how much, how, what she has been through with him, you know. From everything, I can tell you for free that Annie is someone who is broken. And it's so sad that she's married to a man who isn't in touch with her. I don't know if I should say he's not in touch with his emotions or he doesn't care so much for her. I don't really know the right words to use because 
watching this show you know annie will raise like during their um, what is it called they had this 10 years marriage renewal vow and annie said before a day before like during the pre pre-dinner she had this pre-dinner with her very close friend her very close friends and her kids and then she says to him for the next 10 years i don't want you let's say i don't want you to cheat on me i want the next 10 years to be without cheating and annie and two two baba goes what is cheating in fact it was so embarrassing like, tanya was on the table she actually rolled her eyes you know she was like because it was it wasn't a, it wasn't a pleasant thing the way he now he kind of in, in my opinion he just shut her down because he was like what is cheating blah 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 blah. and in the end he didn't make any promise like okay i promise to do better i'm not gonna cheat he didn't say all that he just you know shut it out and you know joke he just jokingly ended everything and boy i was embarrassed on annie's behalf like how do you bring out bring up such a conversation the presence of your children your best friend like i feel like certain discussions should be should be in private she should have just told him privately like for the next 10 years i would like you to be faithful to me then maybe if he had brought up what's cheating she would have told him okay cheating is this if he's acting like he doesn't know what cheating is but the moment he was like what is cheating and i think he his daughter now responded his children were there was like oh my goodness and you don't you don't bring up this discussion and from everything i deduced and his children are just they are exposed to the trouble they they they, they, they were hala in that marriage like they know so much ha they know so much so now okay this 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 uh is this thing that just i just explained actually happened in episode seven now let me take you back to episode one annie arrives south africa with swanky jerry she they go to the hotel she's fiddling with her phone so swanky is like okay my friend is having my friend is inviting us to a dinner i would like you to attend and she's a she's a rapper she's one of the big names in south africa and annie's like oh what's her name and nadia's and swanky mentions nadia nakai and annie's like okay let me google spell it so at a point, Swanky takes her phone to type it and say, Oh, Annie, you're, you're Googling Two Faced. That's your last Google search. And it's Annie's like, Yes, I have to know what he, I like to know what he's up to. Is I'm checking upon my I'm checking on my property, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm like, my goodness, like, how can you even do that? Fine. Two Faced is your husband, but does it mean he doesn't tell you what he's up to? That you need to search Google, like you practically type what is to where is two face or i don't even know what she types like it to me it's, it gave this obsession kind of look like that is what it is she's obsessed with him and she's highly dependent on him for happiness and you don't you don't depend on any human being for happiness it's wrong it's not something i advise people to do you don't depend on people for happiness because sometimes when you depend on people for happiness they can weaponize it it means they can hurt you easily and you break down so while fine when you're married to somebody of course the person it's okay you love the person and all that but let that person not be the center of your existence like so much that you cannot do anything without mentioning the person's name especially when the person doesn't even have that much regards for you so back to the g so after they you know they talk and talk so annie's like let her speak with her daughter briefly she talks about her second daughter olivia Olivia was born, was born with blunts. This blunt is I don't know. You need you can Google it. She was born with curved legs, so curved, and she's seven. And for the past four years, according to Annie, she has had like she has had six surgeries to correct her legs. So Annie was like, "Let me go outside and call Olivia." Annie puts a call across to Olivia. She talks with Olivia, asking Olivia, "I hope you're not running down the stairs. You have to be careful. You know your legs." And Olivia asks her, "Mommy, are you happy?" And he's like, yes, I'm happy. Say, mommy, are you really happy? And he's like, yes, I'm happy. He says, I just wanted to know if you were pretending. And I'm like, my goodness. For a seven-year-old girl to say that to her mom, it shows she has seen her mom go through a whole lot of emotional torture. Like, for a seven-year-old to be that sensitive, it means that she's exposed to a little too much. And I guess her mom is not the type to hide her emotions. She wears her emotions on her sleeve and all that. So, and he's like... Yes, I'm happy. So you know, they end the call with and promising to call later. To call later, when Isabel, the first daughter, is back from school or wherever. 
so that's that so i was like okay that was the first red flag so they get to the board they are talking and he gets to meet the other ladies you know she gets to meet the other ladies for the first time and then they are seated and uh, nadia and is like okay Naka is uh, sorry kanye is is actually gisting them about her daughter how she doesn't stay in the same house with her daughter and because Kanye, Kanye actually lives with her boyfriend. So her daughter stays in the apartment next door. So Annie's like, no, you shouldn't do that. How old is your daughter? She, her daughter is 15. Annie and, and Deli, they were shocked. Like, you allow a 15-year-old girl to live on her own. And the lady's like, of course. And it's like, it's wrong. She's 15. The fact that she's 15, she's too young to stay on her own. The lady was like, no. You know, Kanye was just trying to explain that she is not the regular african parents that she she doesn't want to center her life around her daughter that even as a mom she has a life she wants to have her own life she doesn't want to have her life tied to that of her daughter so annie was like you know they had this back and forth and annie was like no she doesn't so at a point it, it was becoming a bit tensed nadia was not nadia felt a type of way she was like oh look at the person i invited to the party she's quarreling with the host you know stuff like that annie steps out goes to a corner with um Andeli. He, she's actually telling Andeli about her her marriage with two baba she's talking about how she met two baba at 16. two baba is 10 years older than her and how much humiliation how, okay she mentioned that two baba has five kids and her daughter is the fifth that and she met two baba first she talks about how much pain she has passed through, how 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 much humiliation she has had to go through being with two baba and all that. So as they were talking, this lady walked in, the shower, you know, made up. The lady was quite thrilled by Annie's story. So she was like, okay, now she gets why Annie is very uptight about being very protective of her, of her child and all that. So, you know so just like that they now introduce zari zari is a fun loving very beautiful lady she's ugandan but based in south africa she's, she calls herself the boss lady she's very rich she's pretty she's confident she's everything a boss lady should she has three kids with her ex-husband and two with diamond so later you know diamond now diamond actually when diamond came into the country it was a um, kanye that went to pick him up from the airport they got talking so later diamond tells them that he's actually having a party he invited all of them so at the party all of them at the party sitting and then kanye is like who else did he invite to the party Ooh, zari shows up Okay, let me take you back. Meanwhile, Kanye said she was going to introduce Diamond to Nadia, her friend. This is Nadia. That she was going to introduce Diamond to Nadia. That she would like them to, you know, hook up, blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, Nadia has a boyfriend based in Mexico. So, when she, well, finally, when Diamond, Diamond met Nadia, oh, he liked her. Nadia was like, I actually have a boyfriend. And Diamond said, I don't really care. I don't want to think about that. So they get talking. Diamond tells uh, Nadia he wants to get a car. Nadia should take him to a car shop so and help him select one, select a car. So that was how Nadia took him to the car shop, did the selection and all that. So the next day was Diamond's party. So I guess Nadia came there feeling like, you know, now, best in girlfriend. So while they were all seated this lady walked in sorry it was the first time some of the girls were meeting her they were like whoa because she's very pretty she's classy so she kind of got everyone's attention so as a, as she the moment she arrived diamond got distracted oh he got carried away he was all he was all over her you know they were talking and everybody was like nadia felt she was embarrassed kind of like you know you're asking me out kind of and now your baby mama is here and you're all distracted you're, you're giving her so much attention and all that so as I, they were there two baba coach and video call and he takes the camera around and he pans the camera around this is this introducing them and two baba sees diamond hey brother they talk for a bit and then 
and he pans the camera towards Zari and Tubaba screams, Zari the boss lady, give Zari the phone, you know. Him and Zari agree, as Zari is sitting by Diamond, waves at him and he takes back the phone. Swanky is speaking with Tubaba, the next thing Tubaba says, he, say, he wants to talk to Zari. Swanky hands the phone to Zari. After everything, after the call ended, Tubaba sent a message and he say hello to Zari, the boss lady. And Annie's like, oh, how did you know my husband? How did you know my husband? The lady didn't question. I think she said she met him. If I can't remember the exact words she said. So that was it. So when the call ended, at the point, Diamond asked the few people that were around to excuse him. He wanted to have a, a long time with Zari. So after that, Annie became very restless. She was so curious. I want to know how you met my husband. It became a bit, you know, it, it was now somehow, Zari was offended. She didn't like the way Annie was being too pushy about the whole thing. So one time, one, there was a time, two Baba page, Annie, a surprise visit. Like, he flew to South Africa. Annie didn't know. It was Swanky who told her, come out. Then someone brings a book and she's like, where is this from? Then the next thing, two Baba talks and she turns and she smiles, you know, they are being omushi. Honestly, at that point, eh, I forgot how annoying the couple were. Oh, I almost smiled. <laughs> Immediately, I remembered myself. I frowned back. I got back into character, you know, strong face things. Back to the gist. So he takes her out to dinner, reproposes to her. He says to her, Make me do this for 10 years, man. And it's like, what is 10 years? I want forever. So Baba is like, no, let's take it one step at a time. The next 10 years, you know, so they hug each other. And then Tu Baba starts reminiscing. Remember the first time I told you I got a girl pregnant, you know? And he was crying. It was such an emotional scene. They were talking. The next day, Annie goes to her girls. Ah, Tu Baba proposed, proposed to me. We are having a vow renewal. She makes so much noise about the whole thing. And then Tu Baba walks in. Zari, him and Zari greet. The next thing, Zari pulls him aside and is telling him, You see, your wife has actually been asking me how I knew you. You know, they turn. And Tu Baba uh, Tu Baba's like, Should we mess with her head? Zari was like, No. Now called Annie. Annie, come. I was just telling your husband you're insecure. Ah, Annie was like, Annie, the way Annie laughed, no, you're not my husband's spec, I'm not insecure. That was Annie became angry, Zari became a bad woman. Ah, she's called me insecure in front of my husband. She embarrassed me in front of my husband. There was a whole lot of back and forth. In fact, generally, the camp became tense. The girls, I noticed the girls were jealous of Zari. You see, let me tell you about Zari. There are people who are just gifted in this regard, like, they come into a place, people love them. It's not like they do anything special, but the half presence, they come into a place, people are attracted to them, people give them attention. Like you almost feel like, ah, uh-uh, ah, these people, what is they rough for body? Not only they're fine, but that is just the way it goes. Like I say, that's how God created them. Naturally, people just gravitate towards them, especially men. Most women, women that don't have self esteem will be jealous, but women, where's a be better thing? Go no say, ah, this chick, na premium pie. Let me go meet her. We've got to be friends, you know. Because in my opinion, Zari is not so heady. She's not arrogant. She doesn't have the superiority complex. But the girls were simply just jealous and angry with her. So, the next day, Swanky says, Oh, okay, no, the next day, Swanky takes the guys out. And, Naka, uh, no, Kanye organizes a tea, a high tea. They arrive there, the ladies are there, and Annie goes again. How did you know my husband? Oh my goodness. And, you know, the discussion did not go well. So it kind of brought this friction between Annie and Zari. So Swanky was like, okay. After some some time, Swanky was like, the both of you are my friends, so I want you to make up. Swanky encourages them to, you know, hang out and talk things out. They get, they meet at the place. They are talking initially. And he starts to scream. He told my husband I'm insecure. What's the meaning of that? And she didn't even give Zari a chance to explain. Like, Zari couldn't even explain herself. And he, it got so heated, you know. And he now called Zari a bitch or something. 
So Zari got off and I told her, fuck you and your silly marriage, you know. Also called her a bitch too. So that was how the quarreled, you know, they exchanged words and it ended. So for a long time there was this tension and then one time Saki was like, no, I'm going to broker peace. I'm setting up a date. The both of you will come and sort things out and I'll be present because I know if I'm not around, things might go really bad. Swanky does that. They are the venue. Oh, Annie's about to, you know, the, and Zari's like, she doesn't want to talk about anything. She just she knows that if you felt this type of way, I am genuinely, it's from my heart, I am genuinely sorry. She even brought roses. Annie took it and said something about she doesn't think the apology is genuine, but in my opinion, I think Zari was truly sorry. The hug it out, and that ends. So, me, uh, me so I think Andeli hosted a party through a white party. The girls were there, the guys were there. Nadia had already traveled to Mexico for her birthday weekend. She went to see and she went to spend some time with her boyfriend. So when they arrived at uh, Andalin's party, Andalin sees Zari and goes gaga. He's like all over her. And he invited his two baby mamas. The girls are like, What sort of human being is this? Who invites two baby mamas to an event? He brings his baby mamas everywhere. He takes Zari to the corner, I know he's being all mushy, talking to her and all that. And Zari, Zari was like, okay, Zari was also feeling the guy because he's actually a very cool person. So Zari was like, ah, she's actually enjoying his company. So he's stylishly asking her about Diamond, and she's like, no, Diamond and I are not dating. We are ex. He's my ex, but we are not bitter exes. So we talk and all that. So after the party, the party ends. So meanwhile, this two, this naked DJ, he has a girlfriend. He, he and his girlfriend, they're always bickering. Like, they have this issue of he, he, the girl is always complaining that he's the most unromantic guy. He's not romantic. He's the most unromantic guy she has ever been with. So the guy said he, the girl needs, he was telling Swanky, confiding Swanky that the girl is always all around him and sometimes he needs a break. That when he's with her, she bickers so much that he doesn't even have an erection, blah, 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 blah. So now, so those those two couples, but it's always the case. Sometimes I tell people, like especially I tell ladies, I don't believe in even man. Except the man is married to you, like why would you believe? Why you go live with man? What's the advantage for waiting? Like you know, get house. I feel like if you have a very comfortable house, you have no business living with a man. Do you know what it means to live with a man? You go to play wifey duty where man will never marry you. I feel it's just a lot. It's something I personally don't think I can do anyway. Go live with a man that hasn't paid for anything or has not, that is not officially married to me. It's not possible at all. So back to the G. So these two, you know, so Swanky tries to, you know, make peace with them. And Swanky is like, did you ask her to move in with you? The guy is like, I, the, the girl is like, I didn't ask her to move in with me. But in seven days, she stays with me for like six seven days sometimes i just need a break i need to be on my own you know so swanky is like if a guy is thinking like this what is the girl doing there she should get the message and leave him like give him chance so later swanky meets with the girl and is stylishly you know putting it uh, why, why are you here you know you can actually out of why don't you reduce it to two days maybe in a week you stay for like two days you know he doesn't want to go directly to let the girl know that the guy told him so he's just going through corners and the girl's like maybe maybe i need to actually give him space maybe i actually need to give him space so one time zari decides to host everybody to what she called a blue train experience she invites everybody of course Nadia wouldn't come. Nadia is Pepe Podi. Nadia is someone that has low self-esteem. And the girls generally, I noticed they have this, they were just projecting their insecurities on Zari. Because Zari, is, I find her very interesting, very confident. But surprisingly, the way the ladies were projecting on her, I was like, ah. I watched this show and I was like, did this, what did this lady do? Because in my opinion, she didn't do anything. Aside her, her issue with Annie. Annie was the only person I know, like, let's say they actually had, like, a mini altercation. That lady didn't have issues with anybody. Like, she minds her business, does her own thing. But these ladies were constantly picking on her. She invited them to the party. And then, 
at the she invited him to the train and he came late they even thought and wasn't coming all of a sudden and shows up oh they were happy then she says she she hits a metal to her glass and it's like attention please i want to thank you all for coming to my party but look at kanye's face look at kanye's face she looked angry she, in fact she was angry she and annie were murmuring they were bickering so the lady was like it's anything they matter stop talking i'll be stop gossiping she was upset because what's wrong with telling everyone thank you for coming to my party thank you for honoring my invitation and then they're angry don't make it about you why are you telling us thank you fan you know the whole this day bickering that was how they quarreled and you know things everything scattered in fact that train experience generally was a bit messy and tacky so as we all know it's time for to baba's anniversary the ladies the guys went for a car race something like a car race then the ladies went for they had like um and kanye host kanye hosted them kanye hosted them to a bachelorette party at the bachelorette party nadia comes with her wahala eh, what happened during the vacation the train blah 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 and oh no and zari is like i know where this is going to the that lady actually wanted to bring it up again so that was how they faced zari again zari i think you should apologize i was like why should i apologize for saying thank you for thanking people for honoring my invitation better wahalao zari zari was like she she doesn't owe them an apology and that was her and he was like zari wherever you are there's always negative vibes so please i don't want to see you at my vow renewal oh this lady was like she took it in good faith then when she, when the production was interviewing her she was like if she attends the invitation it's a plus that annie is annie is not jay-z it's not beyonce that if she graces your events it adds value to the events, not the other way around. I was like, yes, girl, tell them. So the whole thing, Annie, the way the girls, the, I, the girls, uh, the girls were just so jealous of Zari. They were projecting their insecurities on her. They were in, intimidated by her presence. And I, initially, I actually liked Kanye. I liked her, you know. I felt she was this girl's girl. She was a girl's girl. But then I realized that she, Kanye is the type of person that wants to always be the boss. She always wants to be in charge. So her kind of person will never be friends with somebody who she feels it's, is higher than her. She would rather go for people with self-esteem like Nadia, Annie. You know, those are the people that worship her, that idolize her. That's actually what she wants. So I noticed that... I, I found that very detestful. I didn't like that. I wasn't happy because she was actually somebody I she was someone I actually liked. I was like, okay, it's like this girl is a girl's girl. I love girls that are for women. But then I noticed that bitterness, that jealousy in her. So I just said, nah, 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 this girl is not my kind of girl. So generally, I would say it's a good show. I look forward to another season. But if there'll be another season, I don't want to see Nadia. I don't want to see Nadia. Oh, I don't want to see Nadia at all. I don't want to see that girl. I don't want to see her at all. Like she's my least favorite. She's my least favorite cast. I absolutely love Sari. She's my best girl. I love everything about her because she's a class act. You need to see when these ladies were waggling their mouth. In all honesty, I don't think I can be that patient. In fact, after what happened at the tree, I wouldn't even show up for the bachelorette. Nobody who you see, you go disinvite for wedding. I wouldn't even come for the bachelorette. I'm the kind of person, I'm like that too. I will not even come. Like, what's the point? When I know someone does not like me, why am I trying to be good? No, dear, I'm bad. I accept with my full chest. I am a bad person. Bachelorette called bachelor. You will not see me there because I know that you will come there hundred against me. Me, I'll now start looking at you people like someone that is helpless. No way. If I were that girl, she that lady, she actually tried for coming because I will never attend such. So she disinvited her for the event, and the girls they were all excited. I could see it on their faces, like because Nadia had already said, "If Zari is coming, I am not coming." I see these girls, bunch of pepper body. Bitter leave ladies. 
I, I was highly dis. I was like, is it Zara's fault that the guys find her attractive? Is it her fault that she intimidates you people? Like, what exactly is the problem? Why people so obsessed with this lady? What has she done to you people? Like, I watched this season so much and I was like, I want to see, did she do anything? Like, what exactly did she do? Nothing. Pure jealousy. So that's that. I look for. I actually look forward to another season. I hope Annie renews. I hope Annie renews. I hope Sari renews. Swanky. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Swanky was almost irrelevant in this show. So I don't know if I should say I want to see him again. Okay. Passe Ninja Man. Make him day. Let him stay. But I want to see Toke. I want an additional. I want an addition to the family. I want to see Toke. I feel she's going to bring drama. Because these are representatives from Nigeria. It can't be like saying that so Nigerians they behave. You know, this is an international show. People will be like, ah, is this how Nigerians act? Because the way Annie was. Annie didn't look good. Everything about Annie was just off. So. In my opinion, I, I love her. She brought drama, you know. She brought the spice to the show. Uh, we saw a different part of her. At the point, I was even pitying her, like, since this lady is helpless, she can't even help herself. So, fine. But I want Toke to be on the show. Toke will be... Toke as an addition will be very beautiful. Maybe Messi Eke too. I just want, like, girls that, you know, that are confident, that are bold, that are not intimidated by powerful women too. And honestly... Toke, Messi Eke, the list is endless. Ah, before I go, let me talk about their makeup. Oh, ah, South African makeup artist, you no try. Ah, yeah, I just feel their makeup was a lot. Cultural difference or whatever. Maybe that's how South Africans do their makeup, but it was a bit too much in my opinion. I didn't just like the whole, their makeup, it was bad. But then when it comes to fashion... Of course, Zari. Zari was number one when it comes to fashion. She tried. She tried. She did absolutely well fashion-wise. Then, Kanye too did. Kanye too is a good dresser. Annie was actually my least favorite. She didn't She didn't represent. Considering the fact that, Kanye, that uh, Swanky Jerry is her friend, I was like, this is your bestie with Swanky Jerry, get K Lego. If it was someone like Medlin Boss, I know Medlin Boss is so generous with her creativity. She would have style. If Medlin Boss was, let's say, there on the show, of course she would have helped Annie. Annie's style was tacky, tacky, tacky throughout. Everything about even her the wedding, her costumes. I was pretty disappointed because being that Swanky was there, I felt like Swanky should have just helped her put one or two together. But Swanky is a very sneaky person. He's kind of self-centered. And in my opinion, Swanky is not a good friend. He's a social climber. He's all about the highest bidder. Who we give, who has more money, who has more this, who has more that. That's just Swanky Jerry's type of person. So, Annie, Annie is someone that is not self-aware. Because if she was self-aware, she would know that the only person Annie needs in that crew is Zari. Zari is a chick. Annie is someone, Annie needs a Zari in her life. She needs a woman that is confident, a woman that has been through what she went through. After all, Zani left Diamond because he cheated and it became public knowledge. It was pretty embarrassing. She felt offended and she, she felt offended, she felt disrespected and that was how the relationship ended. But boy, Diamond respects her. I must give it to him. He respects the lady a whole lot. He described her as a queen. He said, I can be with other women, but once Zari's around, she's like the queen. <laughs> guys, you you guys need to watch this. So you need to watch this show. It's very interesting. I actually love it. I actually love it. So thank you. Hopefully, mm, hopefully, I'll post longer videos much later. I'll post a I'll post a video much later. But please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please. Thank you.